Good evening, I'm Norman McLeod. This is the STV News at 6, live from Aberdeen. Scotland has again been lashed by ferocious storms with tidal surges and heavy rain leading to floods and disruption. The West Coast bore the brunt of the weather, ferries have been cancelled and some islanders have suffered power cuts. 19 flood warnings are currently in place and forecasters say there could be worse to come. Susan Nicholson joins us now from the River Tay in Dundee. Susan. Yes, a rather windswept River Tay. People living alongside this river have been keeping their fingers crossed today. The Tay and its network of tributaries are running at the top of their banks, overflowing in some places after days of heavy rain. There are currently 14 flood warnings in place in Perthshire, and some areas of farmland are under several feet of water. All in all, it's been a wet and wild day right across the country. Another battering for the west coast. Huge waves whipped up by a tidal surge and 60 mile per hour winds provided a New Year duke for Helensborough. The storms, which began before Christmas, have caused chaos up and down the country. Scottish government ministers and officials met today to coordinate the response to the severe weather. I'm reassured that uh, local agencies, local authorities, police and fire services have resources in place. For example, fire tenders have been fitted out with additional equipment in the event there's any river flooding today so they can cope with the situation. So well, there's been a lot of work done to prepare uh, for what potential impacts there could be in the areas we've identified. Calmac cancelled eight ferry services, including those to Barra and South Uist. Several villages in Harris suffered power cuts when the wind toppled electricity cables, causing a pole to catch fire. Uh, when I came out the door this morning, it's, I looked at the pole, came around the house, and it was just uh, flames are all coming off the middle of the pole, and the sparks were flying, and smoke was coming off. In Dundee, work is continuing to clear a landslip which was triggered by torrential rain. Around 50 flats were evacuated on Monday after a retaining wall gave way at the rear of tenements in the Lochy area. It's likely to be early next week before residents can return to their homes. Really the ground being saturated, the, the earth shifting, it's hard to, it's, it's as simple as that I think. Um, we need to obviously look at the area and make sure that this isn't going to happen anywhere else locally and I'm sure the engineers will be doing that over the next few weeks and months. In Perthshire there was some localised flooding. Here on the River Isla near Cooper Angus, it was a day for ducks. For the rest of us, a day to stay indoors and hope for an end to the downpours. Now, if you think today's been bad, hold on to your hats, batten down the hatches and forget about carrying an umbrella. There's much more bad weather on the way. After a respite tomorrow, forecasters are warning of a deep Atlantic low sweeping across the UK on Sunday. Again, it will be the west coast which bears the brunt with high winds and driving rain. And on high ground, there could be significant snowfall. It seems the stormy conditions are going to stay with us for some time yet. OK, Susan, thank you. The mother of a victim of the 2009 North Sea helicopter crash